Hi, I'm Manish from Betoni.com and I'm doing a video series on how you can resolve small issues you face while using Magento as a platform. In this video, we will see how you can utilize default Magento options to speed up Magento. You would still need other stuff to get reasonable load time. I have found a lot of stores not even using the default options. So let's see what they are. The first option is caching. So you can go to system and cache management to enable the default Magento caching. Generally it's disabled while uh, developers or designers are working on your website. They disable it so that they don't have to, uh, after every change, they don't need to uh, go to the cache management and you know refresh the cache every time. So uh, and sometimes they leave it as is. So you need to cross check whether it's enabled or not. So you can select all and enable it. Okay. So that's um, default Magento cache management. The second thing is enable the flat catalogs. Uh, you need to go to system configuration section. Okay. After that, you need to go to catalog front end section. Okay. And then you see this option here. Use flat catalog category and use flat catalog product it's it's by default it's set to no so i have just uh, set to yes and then save it after that after you save this setting you need to go to uh, cache management and delete the cache and after that you need to reindex as well so for reindexing you need to go to system index management okay and then reindex the data the third thing is image optimization as you all know image takes a lot of space on on your uh, web page uh, load time so, uh, so you need to use uh, good quality images while the file size needs to be uh, minimum so you need to optimize them to have minimum file size while uh, you, you can have like uh, reasonable qu image quality so that your visitors are not getting very poor image quality so it's it's a very critical part so you need to do it with caution don't use tools uh, and things like that it's it's better to do it manually or maybe you know if you have too too many too many products and you're getting high resolution of uh, photographs from your uh, from your photographer it may be and if you're putting them as is on the website your website load time will will increase immensely so you need to you know uh, you need to either hire someone to to uh, get this sorted or you need to do it yourself Fourth thing is uh, cleaning up Magento database and logs. As you all know, Magento creates log files for the issues and errors, and it's very helpful while debugging issues in Magento. So uh, you can set up for how many days you, you need to save the log files. For that, you need to go to obviously you go system configuration here. Okay, and then you need to go to the advanced section. In advanced section there is a setting named system so let's click on that okay it's loaded you go to log and then here you see it's by default set to 180 days you need to set it to 14 days or or like you know or 30 days whatever you want and you need to set this option enable log clearing to yes so that it uh, it you know uh, it uh, clears the the logs uh, automatically okay so uh, the first first benefit is that uh, you if you have uh, if you are on a budget disk space in that case it will save a lot of disk space for you and uh, and it will also help uh, you know uh, speed up your magento setup fifth thing is merging css and js this is also a very critical thing. You need to go to system configuration and then you need to go to this developer section here. Okay. Then you see the option here JavaScript settings and CSS settings. It says merge JavaScript files, you need to set it to yes, and then merge CSS file, you need to set it to yes. Save the settings and Clear the cache and re-index. Do, do that always whenever you make any changes in the admin section. Sixth point is enable the compilation. To enable the compilation, you need to go to system, tools, 
and compilation okay and then you need to run the compilation so just click on the run compilation let's do that okay and after that you'll be ready to go in case if you, you find any issue with that you can check my other uh, other video to uh, to know how you can resolve that issue if you get after running the compilation if you get a 500 error uh, you can find a video in uh, in the series that on how you can resolve it thanks for watching have a blessed day